Punta naman tayo sa human relations. And this is the principle on abuse of rights. What is the liability of a parent when a minor child commits a crime under our Pangilinan law? Eh, exempt ang child na yan from criminal liability. So ano ang remedy ng biktima? Ang remedy ng biktima eh, itimanda yung mga parents ng bata for damages. Ano ang remedy ng mama mo yan? Pag ang opisyal sa gobyerno ay negligent sa kanyang trabaho. Remedy niya is case for damages against the public official negligent of his functions or duties as a government official. All these are based doon sa Article 19 of the new civil code. And ito I commonly referred to as the principle of abuse of rights. No? At ang principle of abuse of rights are dependent sa certain standards. And these standards are the following. All of us should act with justice, give everyone our due, and observe honesty and good faith. Yan yung Article 19 of the New Civil Code. And if a person's right is violated at walang ibang kaso na may file against the violator, then he can anchor his complaint in Article 19 of the New Civil Code. In Ardiente versus Pasfor Fide, ang sabi ng Supreme Court, ang Article 19 lays down a rule of conduct no, for everybody. And para magkaroon ng social order, eh, ito yung Biblia ng ating human relations. Act with justice, give everyone your due, and observe honesty and good faith. Of course, pag uh, you sue for damages, you can claim moral damages for sleepless nights, serious anxiety, uh, cannot read, uh, cannot eat, and other experiences. You can sue for exemplary damages to give an everlasting lesson to the, the person who violated re, uh, your rights para hindi niya ulitin, para he will not trample upon the rights of others. He can sue for other forms of damages like nominal damages, temperate damages, and the uh, liquidated damages. So ito yung mga karapatan ng isang tao who feel na siya ay na-violate at gamitin ang Article 19 of the New Civil Code as basis for claiming damages.